You know that whole idea that if you had an infinite amount of monkeys and infinite number of typewriters that given enough time, they would eventually write the complete works of Shakespeare? You think this was what was going on in Shakespeare's parents' minds when they were trying to decide whether or not to have children? They're like, well, we could bone. Or we can start amassing an infinite amount of monkeys. Because, like, first of all, the typewriter hadn't even been invented back then. I mean, it's a less common saying, but I guess it'd be the same thing if you had an infinite number of monkeys and an infinite amount of paper and, and jars of ink and feather pens that they used to write with back then. I mean, all infinite, of course. I mean, would Shakespeare's parents have considered inventing the typewriter to aid these monkeys along? I mean, this isn't your usual preamble to amorous activity. I don't know how many people it gets in the mood to make bait. I guess what I'm saying is that their decision to procreate and not attempt to amass an infinite amount of monkeys and typewriters, which they need to invent first, or trick the monkeys into inventing, now their choice not to do that, whether out of laziness or sheer venality, greatly advanced theater and literature as we know it. I mean, people always credit Shakespeare with writing those plays, but I mean, his parents made him. I mean, maybe, there were, maybe the saying comes from there were what looked like an infinite amount of monkeys present. In the boudoir, you know? When they were going to do the D. Maybe that was their thing, their particular kink. I mean, I can't say for sure. I don't think anybody can. There's no record of it. None of his plays deal with this. Unless it's like hidden in one. Maybe like, as you like it. Whoa, subtext, you know? I mean, of course, this proves that it might not be an either-or situation. I mean, is this like Schrodinger's orangutan? I mean, ugh, imagine opening up a box and it's just filled with an infinite amount of deceased monkeys. They've all bludgeoned each other to death using the complete leather-bound works of William Shakespeare. I mean, this would have to give mathematicians pause you know, before they go revealing any more secrets of famous playwrights' parents' private lives like that. A lot of peas in that sentence, I know. Hope it didn't make any of y'all have to go to the bathroom. Miss the big finale. Pause is in P-A-U-S-E. I'm not suggesting that these very same theoretical math professors would then start turning into monkeys, beginning with their hands, the very hands they'd then be typing with. Who's to say these monkeys would even want to read Shakespeare, you know? I mean, think they might be more into pop bands. I mean, Last Train to Clarksville, Daydream Believer, those are tunes, man. Maybe they want to start writing scripts for David Jones, Mike Nesmith, and co. I mean, imagine how good those monkeys' TV shows could have been if the writer's room was packed with an infinite amount of monkeys 
who all thought they could do better than Mr. William Shakespeare? Mr. William Shakespeare, Mr. Bob William Shakespeare, we were all thinking it. And the show could have run for decades, well into the 80s and 90s. Start working the Wizard of Oz into it with those flying chips, you know? They just keep soaring higher and higher, trying to figure out where Icarus went wrong, you know, while they're reworking the Greek myths, putting all other TV writers to shame and making tons of dough in the process. I mean, this would be gripping television. Maybe combine it with Gilligan's Island, you know? The flying monkeys start carrying members of the monkeys band, just like they were doing with Dorothy and Toto. And, you know, when they, when they arrive at the island, you know, keeping with the musician theme, you know, maybe Instead of Bob Denver, it's John Denver. For Ginger, get Jerry Hallowell, Ginger Spice, you know? Professor Griff from Public Enemy, woo! Thurston Moore as Thurston Howe the Third! Talk about experimental jet set. Now we're cooking. I mean, think of all television could have been if Shakespeare's parents had seriously considered the monkey alternative. 